Also, I want to draft up this board game, South Park, don't worry. Buttons like to press. Morning. It's Friday at last. Friday the 23rd of February. I've got a bit of a sore throat, a bit of a cold. This is going to be a day in the life vlog. It's a little bit chilly out here, but when the sun's out, it's lovely. I've got to sort out an item that I sold this morning. Got to draft some items up and list it to resell back online. There's not much happening in the garden at the moment because we're still in winter period and mum doesn't do much out here in the winter. But she has ordered some bulbs and plants and that from varying companies. So in the next up and coming months, she'll be out here when it's warmer and doing some more bits to the garden, making it all nice and tidy and colorful with flowers and bulbs and all that sort of stuff. I was having a look to see if there's any jumble sales this weekend. A few people did message me about some jumble sales. I thought I'd have a look to see if I can go to those jumble sales. A couple of them I couldn't get to because where the M25 meets the A3 at Wisley is shut this weekend. I thought I'm not going to go a 20 mile round trip extra to go to these jumble sales. I'll stay home, list what I've got. As you can see, I've got lots of stuff to list, sort out, put away because the car boots start like in a few weeks. It's been here a few weeks. A few months, need to get it gone, sorted and listed. Large Peter Storm jacket, has an FC St Pauli football badge sewn in. Where I got it, down in Cobham, near where the Chelsea FC training ground is. Stoke Abenham, where the players live, staff and that. So one of the players or staff, I donated this jacket and sewn the badge on beforehand. Can't remember what I paid for it. Got it about a year and a half to two years ago. Had up £30. Sent off to a watch at 25 at some point. This morning, £21.80 came back, accounted and accepted, plus postage. I'm going to have a look to see if I can find some items to draft up before I do the photographs this afternoon. I've already drafted up these Horrible Henry books, Eni Blyton books. I've got the Horrible Science books to draft up, the Disney books to draft up and the Horrible Histories to draft up. Also, I want to draft up this board game, South Park Don't Worry, because it's really annoying me. This is where I'm supposed to do the packing, but you can see it's full of stuff that needs to be put away. Here's the board and all the bits and pieces, so I don't know what you'd go for. I paid a bit of money for it, and it's not in great condition at the bottom. Friday has always been bin day, so have a look to see if they've actually collected any of the bins. Nope, that's heavy. Nope. And no, because normally they come round for the um, black bin really early, but not today. Oh, right, okay. <laughs> I was looking at these Harry Potter books. So you've got Philosopher's Stone, which you've got the stars around it. You've got a couple of these ones, Train of Secret Stars. And that one. This first one is very sun faded. Jesus. It's like Katie Price's face. <laughs> it's an 8th edition. Not worth a lot. 10 to 15 pounds. This one is a better edition, but some sod has broken it and scribbled out, which makes it pretty much worthless. So I should still get about 10 to 15 pounds. First edition, more writing, could try and rub that out, but 10, 15 pounds all day long. Then this one, a little bit of um, pen mark in there and stuff and rip there. Fifth edition, so about 15 pounds all day long, because you can get like 20, 25 for a first edition um, on the stars version. These four to be drafted up, Horrible Science books, Horrible History books, Walt Disney books, 
and this little miss, a complete collection, 37 books, and apparently I paid £3.50 from Oxfam. 37 books. I've drafted up this Own Fools and Horses complete collection already. I'm not sure how many cuts they made in this particular collection because they made a lot of cuts on every single DVD box set they had out. These are PG Tips tea bags, right? What do you prefer, square tea bags or triangle tea bags? Personally, triangle tea bags are easier to get in the cup, but they taste the same anyway. I made another cup of tea because the last one I had, I let stand too long. When I came to drink it, it got cold, so I had to chuck it away. I wonder why my socks get holes in them. Because <laughs> I don't put shoes on when I go outside. I see George has put a new video out. Why have eBay done this? All about private sellers on eBay. And at the moment, they get two months free listings and no eBay fees. As a business seller, yes, it's annoying, but you just got to take the rough with the smooth and list more and try and sell more stuff. Finally, collecting bins. See what they've done. Nope, that's heavy. Still recycling for the food waste. And then they've done black bin and they've done, nope, just the black bin. <laughs> Anything else? Oh, and your bottles. Go and make another trip out later to collect food waste and green bin. Whether they do them both together, who knows? Because we have like two, three lorries come around sometimes. Didn't think it was going to rain today, but looks like it is raining. It was raining a minute ago, now it's turned into hailstones. These horrible history books, I'm going to start them at £20 and see how long they take to sell. I've been using the AI description. It can be a bit wacky though, the AI description, but I've put in there uh, from the AI description, the books are a great learning aid for children and cover various historical eras, which is very true. Middle Ages, Slimy Stewards, The Blitz, Brits. This bundle is perfect for anyone looking for an, an enjoyable way to learn about history, which is very true. 12 books, books have wear, blah, 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 £20, and I'd work out a price via the posted. For the last half an hour or so I've been having a look at my old banner image and thinking you know what I've got to change this banner image because it's rubbish. For the last month or so I've been meaning to change it but it's not got around to it. It had a bad picture of me on this banner image and the fact that I play games on this channel which I don't. I haven't played a game on this channel since way 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 before Christmas. If you didn't know I have a gaming channel called Quack Attack Gamer. It's in the description below. Do check it out. So what I've done is I've put bigger font on Peaceways Adventures, reselling vlogs, live streams, etc. Took out the gaming, put a better picture of me on it. Ducks, of course. My Instagram handle. Not going sourcing this weekend. There will be no jumble sale videos and hauls, etc. So I decided to do this little YouTube short, which is in relation to an unboxing video I put on the channel last week. Right, I finally collected the bins at 20 past three. Uh, yeah, I've done that one. Oh, it's starting to rain again. And that one, lovely. I'll get it next door's in as well. I'm drafting up this bundle of horrible science books. I clicked on to use the AI description, which is automated intelligence. It uses the title and the item specifics to create a bunch of text. And in that text, what I'll do is go through and have a look to see if any like words and um, sentences I can use in my description. Quite a lot of it's just alien and not in the right context or wording.
I've brought in here 23 items to photograph. You've got like books, you've got DVD box sets, toys, penny board wheels, and programs, sticker books, all sorts. These are the newer lights I got off Amazon. They're pretty good because you don't need no battery to keep charging up. You just plug it into the mains and off you go. They do take quite a while to set up, but once they're set up, there's one here and one over here. This is the power socket I use, Automax 3.1A, rated power, 3000 watts, goes into the mains. So this bit here goes into the mains, which is over there. And this bit for the light goes into here, like so. And then those bits up top there plug into the bottom of here. And then press the button on and away you go. What a day, it's been on and off, hailstones, rain, hailstones. Finally got the lights up and working. So you've got buttons like to press for the light and then turn it down a bit, turn it up a bit more. Same with the other side to illuminate what you're photographing. This is where I've got up to so far, photographing horrible science books. I've never been that fast at taking photographs. All I've got left is horrible histories, Horrid Henry, the Walt Disney books, and Uni Blind books, and that's it. Dinner's ready, and I've got scampi, so I'm gonna head off to have dinner. Thanks everyone for watching this day in the life vlog. Do like, share, and subscribe. Catch you later, take care.